Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ashbir Singh uh, and I am final course student at uh, Intermobile National Medical University. Uh, in this video we want to uh, explain and inform you how the examination system looks like in uh, medical universities of Ukraine and also the criteria of study like study pattern, how the classes looks like, uh, what kind of tests or exams are uh, in, uh, held in Ukrainian medical universities. So first we will start with the um, classes yeah how the classes looks like so पहले जो तीन साल होते हैं उसके अंदर हमारी जो classes होती हैं वो एक class डेढ़ घंटे की होती है and we have around three or four classes per day and after that in fourth fifth and sixth course we have just one class which is mostly in any hospital because we study clinical subject so we just have one class per day which which is of six hours so in every class, either it is one and a half hour class or six hour class in uh, uh, higher courses, uh, we have 12 points class, okay? We need to score four points uh, in each class so that uh, our class is considered as pass. Yeah, we got pa uh, pass marks. Okay? So, uh, in 12 points, four points consist of oral seminar, yeah? Seminar with teacher. And uh, four points are of written test. Four points are of uh, practical skills, yeah, which we perform in our class. So after that, uh, in, in Ukraine, yeah, we have 100% attendance system. So we need to pass every class. If we get uh, less than four points in any class, we need to repeat that class. Uh, mostly it's after 3.30 uh, in the evening. It's called a rework. Uh, so we need to do a rework of that class. Either we are uh, absent because of any reason we are sick or whatever, or we get less marks than four that are considered negative marks. So we need to uh, rework this class. And uh, in full semester, in every department, uh, teacher takes uh, some general kind of test as well, mostly close to end of semester. So after that, from uh, main subject, suppose in first course we have uh, anatomy, histology, yeah? in second course we uh, go with physiology as well, so biochemistry as well. So from this subject, these are the main subjects, yeah. In every year we have two or three, uh, sometimes even more uh, subjects which are like the main subject in medicine. Uh, for those subjects we are uh, giving oral exam as well as written test, yeah, which are MCQ test, yeah? uh, multiple choice questions. So there are some simple subjects like in first course uh, we are studying physics, um, uh, chemistry, biology, all this subject. So this subject uh, we just write a simple MCU exam. It's called uh, undifferentiated test. So in every year we have a few undifferentiated tests like in every semester, and we have some uh, main exam which are oral and written as well. So after uh, this, like these are the main exams. Yeah. So oral exam we have and uh, written multiple choice question we have uh, and after this we have OSCE yeah? so it is objective uh, clinical structure examination uh, it consists of like it's kind of uh, your practical skill they will check your practical skills on patient and mannequins and so on so this exam uh, it starts after a second course and third course we have fourth fifth course yeah? in all these three courses we have this exam so uh, it's, uh, it also consists of 12 points and you need to score seven points to pass this exam. So after OSCE, the main thing which comes like uh, croc 1 and croc 2. If you will translate to English, it is like step 1 and step 2. So croc 1 we write after third course and croc 2 we write after sixth course. For croc 1 we have three chances right now. I am saying in future but right now we have three chances. So in first chance, if someone doesn't pass, get second chance. If someone doesn't pass, get third chance. So in these three chances, you need to pass CROC exam. In CROC 1, the syllabus is uh, from first three courses. Yeah, The so subjects which you study in first three courses, everything you have to like at once write in one exam, which consists of 200 multiple choice questions. And uh, in third course, we are uh, repeatedly preparing for this exam. Teachers will help you. There will be special lectures for this. So you will pass CROC 1 and then only you are eligible to uh, be promoted to 4th course. Yeah? So after 4th, 5th, 6th course, in the last course from full year medicine, mostly from clinical sub subjects, there is CROC 2. Yeah? So for CROC 2, there is only one chance.
but uh, after like um, such long period of study yeah uh, big experience of clinical subject in uh, fourth fifth sixth course as well in the um, basic theoretical subject in the beginning you, you are uh, eligible if you are average student you can easily pass top 2 as well just in one chance uh, other than that uh, i want to uh, tell you about like a lot of students they are scared yeah uh, we will not able to pass exam there are so many exams so many or so many mcq so i don't know what will happen like um, there are in one semester sometime 9 10 exams right so there are a lot of questions a lot of oral questions a lot of topics to study so um, you don't need to worry if you are a normal average student little little bit full year you are studying it won't be difficult for you and the reason why because you are also getting three chances in normal exams as well so suppose you are having 9 or 10 exam yeah so you plan to pass in first chance i want to pass at least four or five exam which you are uh, sure you can easily study so you pass five exam in first chance you can try for next five in second chance and if something left from both you can just try in third chance so you can easily pass this just you need to whole year keep on studying not just like you will study one week for exam and you will pass this so that's basically how looks examination system in uh, ukrainian medical universities and uh, the way how uh, we um, perform ourselves uh, uh, in classes like how to perform practical skill and everything this is checked by oski uh, normal theoretical knowledge is checked in mcq and oral like that so that's how it looks so uh, you can um, watch our video and if you have any other further question you can ask us in comments or contact to my md phone numbers we are showing on the screen thank you very much my omd is a renowned consultancy and study mbbs ukraine the only channel that provide the real and authenticated information regarding study mbbs abroad especially about ukraine because here the doctors are guiding to the future doctors don't forget to subscribe to get latest update for study mbbs abroad and bell icon for informations thank you and have a nice day